I chose Florida because I wanted to win a national championship. The past three years have been one of the best three years of my life, and I want this year to be exactly the same. This team is very special, and we could do really big things. They're a whole new team that, you know, are now trying to battle for a three-peat. 2016 or bust, I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, defense! Go, 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 go! Good I've heard someone say to me, how are you going to go back to back? I said, buddy, we've already gone back to back. You know, we've got the, the trophy here you know, right behind me. We will earn that. Trying to go again and win again, that's hard to do. It hasn't been done since I think softball started. Right through the middle gap. Let's go. What are we going to do and how are we going to develop this new class and how are we going to win another championship? I've never been a coach who's ever ran a team because of games. I don't want them to be fearful of games, but I want them to be fearful of practice. We'll have like full we'll stretch, we'll do some speed and agility stuff, and then you'll have like uh, eight half gassers, which is from one side of the football field to the other. Our 6 a.m. runs are the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. Kind of a Vince Lombardi style where it's you like he just gets on you, gets on you, but then afterwards you realize how much you've grown because of it. <laughs> so if one person comes in 17, 18 seconds, everyone has to do it again? Yep. Every single person, anybody that comes in late, we all have to do it again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that person gets some serious stink eye then. Serious stink eye. <laughs> Uh, leave it! So I'm just going with, uh, with the one lineup right now. I'm not, there's no, it's not a 4-3-3, three, three. I just got one lineup going. And then I'm going to sub in off of that. So I'm going to sub it um, somewhat like a normal potential game, but I'm just going to go right now with just, just the way it is. And then uh, I don't have any protocol plans to go forward. I'm just going to sub as, as I need to with the game and try to get into a little bit of a flow and then, and then separate. Does that make sense? Um, I learned about Florida softball whenever uh, they were in the World Series. It's like an hour away from my house, so like I would go every single year. And the one thing I remember is when they were playing Alabama and Ali Gardner hit that walk-off and I was like, I have to be a Gator. I had watched Stacey Nelson and the team play Washington. And I was watching and I was like, wow, okay, Florida It was the first time I ever really saw them on the map. And then when I came to Florida, it just felt like me. It was sometime during my freshman year. They said, the University of Florida is interested in you. They want to get you down for a visit. We were at the bookstore, so I grabbed two things. My mom's like, you can only get two if you're sure you're going to go here. The next weekend, I called Coach Walton up. I'm like, you know, it's been a long time. I think it's about time I committed. From when I was little, I wear all the Gator stuff, um, all the little as much as I don't want to admit all the little Gator cheerleading outfits, I was one of those. Through the grapevine, I heard about Coach Walton and how successful the program was and is going to be. And coming here, I just fell in love with it and chose to be a Gator. 
Coach Walton, he like sold me 100%. Like the way he talked to my dad, because my dad's like one of my biggest supporters. Like he taught me everything I know about softball. And so just the way he was communicating with my family and like how family oriented they are. When I was younger and I first started playing softball, Gator Nation was really on the rise for softball specifically. So when I saw how they played, what they looked like when they played, I knew that's what I wanted to do. That's where I wanted to go. I came to the field first, then I, and that was it, what I saw for the day. And I just knew after seeing the field, I was like, oh my God, I just love it here. And it just seems like such a special place, and I just want to be a part of it. Um, Herndon, right field. Man, left field. Voss, center field. Uh, Merritt, center field. Okay, did all the outfielders? Good. Everybody else has got their spot. I mean, orange. It is on three. One, two, three. Yes! Good job. This is your situation right here, hey? Hey, right here, this is what we talk about. We got runner on second base and no outs. She's important. So those of you that got a little bit of pop, don't limit yourself just to the right field line. Give yourself the gap angle here, okay? Get your job done. If you hit a jack, you hit a jack. But worst case scenario, you're going to get your job done, right? Get her into third. Good job. Good, you're tagging, you're going. Be on time, you're good. Be on time. Better, baby. Good job, Kaylee. Had a kiss. Good job. Hey, comes up a little bit higher on her off speed pitch, right? You see that thing coming up pretty early? Good. Get it out right here. Let's go. Get it going again, Kirsty. Coach Walton is honest. I mean, flat out honest. And sometimes it hits you like a ton of bricks, and other times it's exactly what you need to hear. The way he conveys messages to me is he writes in his little brown book. My freshman year, I think that is one of the things where he would come talk to me, like, how can you improve, you know? And now I'm older, so now I don't need that every time. But like, now I know when he writes in his little brown book, I'm like, crap. Something we'll be working on in practice. <laughs> He's a very hands-on coach. He's uh, always out there in the batting cages, helping people with their swings. It's say I'm here now. Yeah. I, I don't know that there's a perfect spot. Wherever your choke up position is, I feel like you can get you know, to a good position. I don't, I wouldn't say that there's like a, you know, just feel like you can get to where, you know, how much, your arms are long, you know, so where can I get to? I'm gonna choke up from here. Can I get to that spot? Can I get to coverage? Can I, do I feel like I can cover everything that I wanna cover? I think that's the biggest key. I wasn't really surprised at the work ethic that it entailed. I know that the upperclassmen when I came in set a really high standard for us as freshmen. And my class in particular, the senior class now, when we came in, we didn't get anything with gator heads on it. Nothing. All of our shirts were plain, and it was kind of like a rebuilding year for us that we had to earn that gator head back. So everything we were doing, we had to earn it. Why is this important to you guys? I mean, we like to give back. I think Coach has made it a big part of our program. Probably I mean, before a lot of us have been here, so. It's important for us to give back, and Heather's story is incredible. So we like to make her and like welcome her into our family and our team. And I mean, she's got a locker with like her name played up. I mean, she's really she really is part of our team and our program. Heather, will you hold one up for me so I can kind of see the saying? It's a big. When I came in as a freshman, Heather was a big part of the team. She came in the first year with her as Francesca Nea. They sort of adopted her on the team and she became a big part that year. Mm -hmm. 
her mom sent us a paper with a bracelet in it and it had the colors for all the cancers on a piece of paper and we saw that and why not we might as well represent Heather in that way she's represented us extremely well she's always here for us we're already wearing flowers let's just make it yellow and make people know her story she was 18 when she passed away Heather was just it's just one of those people that you meet once in a lifetime. You can't, there, you'll never meet another person like Heather. So she's a very important part in our lives and she will always be a part of the program because of the foundation she set for all of us. You know what I mean? There's no way you can find the outside of this ball. You got to find a well, find a way to get that lower inside part, and still stay, you know, still stay right center, right field side. You know what I'm saying? And, and again, not going to chase. And, and I think I still see a little bit of elevation on her change up early in her out of her glove. I think she can. I think she gives that away a little bit. Make sure we just try to read and see what we get. Yeah. Now here we go. Come on, get here, get here, get here, get here. Right here on the bag. Good job. Now bag number seven, Kelsey Stewart. Come on, let's go. Go hard. Go, 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 go. On the bag, on the bag. Great job, huh, baby? I'm it up. We've got a lot of players that have a long way to go, whether they're freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior, at being better, you know, better player, better person, and uh, that's what we're working on. I mean, I think that's what we're we're trying to figure out how to defend ourselves, and how are we going to be the best at bunt defense? How are we going to be the best at first and thirds? How are we going to be the best at you know when we're down by a run going to the seventh inning? How are we going to be the best at when we give up a home run? What's our response going to be? When we hit a home run, what's our response going to be? Oh, I see you working! So that's called standing there watching the catcher pick you off. Because you didn't, you didn't, you went, and then you went, hello. At second base, you went, oh, I, I, I know what he means now, because you didn't do it at second. But at first base, you did it. You, I mean, you stood right there and watched her pick you off. That's why your feet have to keep moving. I think that this team is very special and we could do really big things, but it takes the chemistry which leads to this, which leads to this, which leads to the national championship. One thing that Lauren Hager taught me last year was to trust my team because my team trusted me. You know, we won two and it's great, but it's like, it's our senior year. There's no way that we don't want to win. It's like impossible to shut it down. Good turn, we find the ball, good job. Go ahead, go! Go, 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 go! Again, it's game, 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 it's game. They're playing for the persons next to them, not playing for themselves. They're creating a great culture of people that really look to everybody around them and they don't really get caught up in themselves and that's really what's gonna define the 2016 season. One, two, three, five.